Hi, my loves. It's Lucid Simmer, and welcome back to season two of the Lucid Legacy Challenge. If you don't already know what the Lucid Legacy Challenge is, it is a 10 generation Sims challenge that I created, and the rules will be linked in the description box down below if you want to check it out. And if you have not yet seen season one of Lucid Legacy on my channel, or if you just need a recap, I am going to get into the whole backstory and everything you need to know about this sim before the season starts. But first, I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to our featured commenter. Our featured comment today is from my star sign cast challenge video, and it is from BusyB6452. They said, this gives me so many ideas to use for making sims. Thank you so much for making it. As always, the sim turned out gorgeous. Thank you BusyB for this comment, and I'm really glad that that challenge inspired you. And of course, if you would like to check out that video or the cast challenge that I made, those will also be linked in the description box below. All right, you guys, we're jumping right into Lucid legacy now because I want to waste no time in getting into this episode. So this sim we have right here is Daisy Wild and she is going to be our heir for season two. Daisy grew up in Henford-on-Bagley on a big family-owned farm. Her parents are Silas Wild and Faye Wild and they actually started the farm when they first got married and before any of the kids were born. But soon after they got married and started the farm, they had twins which were Daisy and Henry. Followed soon after by the youngest child in the Wild family, which is Flora. The Wilds are a big, loving family. They know everyone in their community, and they're just very wholesome people. And they also have a couple other chosen family members as well. There is Miles Forrest, who grew up with Silas, and they're basically like brothers. And Miles has an adopted son named Asher Forrest, who is the same age as Henry and Daisy. As the kids got older, Daisy was the only one out of the family that was not into farm life. She is very squeamish. She's not super outdoorsy. And Daisy decided to pursue her true passion, which is video gaming. Because of this, when Daisy graduated high school and became a young adult, she did decide to move to San Mai Shuno with who else but her best friend, Asher. Asher wanted a change from Henford on Bagley as well. He loves the idea of working in the city. And like I said, these two Sims are just absolutely best friends. They are inseparable. So they decided to make the big move together, which brings us to this first episode of season two. Daisy and Asher are officially settled into their new apartment in the city. They are going to be meeting friends and starting their new jobs and just kind of starting over in their new life here. Of course, that was a very, very short version of season one. But if you would like to go back and watch season one, if you haven't already, the playlist will be linked in the description box below. And now we are on to Jenna. Generation 2 content creator. Although they would never admit it, you have always been the outcast in your family. Things that came naturally to them were always undesirable to you. You love them and they love you, but that doesn't change the obvious. When they were all getting dirty outdoors, you were in your room in your own little world. Video gaming is your number one passion. After attempting to conform to farm life your whole childhood, your parents ended up getting you a computer as a teen and your whole world changed from there. Playing games, streaming, watching other gamers, making friends online, you realize for the first time ever just how big the world is beyond your small town. Your teen life was spent staying up as late as possible and gaming until you couldn't keep your eyes open anymore. After becoming a young adult and being immersed in fantasy worlds for years, you decided to move to the city for a fresh start. Talk about culture shock. Everything was different here from where you grew up. Luckily for you, you meet your future spouse soon after moving, which makes the transition a lot easier. You start your streaming slash YouTube career and blow up. Your videos become so popular that you become a B-lister. You're known as a down-to-earth celebrity to most, probably because of the way you grew up. In fact, most of your money you earn goes straight to your child. Your parents let you be exactly who you were despite it being very different from them, and you want to do the same thing for your child, even if that means spoiling them rotten. The goals for this generation are to have the squeamish trait, complete the first two parts of the computer whiz aspiration, become famous by streaming, posting videos, etc make and sell your own video game, move to the city as a young adult, marry someone from the city who you meet once moving there, max the media production and video gaming skills, unlock the techie and coffee fanatic lifestyles, have only one child who is very spoiled, and become at least a three-star celebrity. So that was a little overview of what is to come this season and the goals that we need to accomplish with Daisy here. I am so, so excited for 
this next season, and I do want to say a huge, huge thank you before we get into it. The first season of this challenge got so, so, so much love from all of you guys, and I could not say thank you enough for all of the love you guys have given to me on both the challenge and the Let's Play. And I know that a lot of you are so invested in Daisy's story, so I hope I do it justice for you guys. Also, I will say I did give makeovers to The Sims in between seasons, and I am so obsessed with how their makeovers came out, so I really hope you guys like them as well. And without further ado, let's get into season two. I do want to show you guys Daisy and Asher's apartment before we get into gameplay, and I am so, so excited to share this apartment with you guys. I am not much of a builder myself, but I did decorate and lay out a floor plan for this apartment completely myself from scratch, and I'm actually really, really proud of it and how it came out. I am working on a CC list for both Daisy and Asher as well as their apartment. I'm not sure if it will be ready by the time this video comes out, but as soon as it is, I will link those in the description below so that you can check out all of the CC that I have as well. Daisy and Asher live at 19 Culpepper House apartment in San Myshuno. So when you first walk in, they do have this long hallway. They just have a coat rack, thermostat, little shoe bench and umbrella holder and things like that. Pretty basic hallway. And then when you come down here, the first door in front of you is Asher's room. So going into this room, I did leave Asher's room relatively plain, mostly because we haven't actually played Asher as a sim yet. And so I do want to kind of learn more of his personality as we go on with this season. But Asher is very into the environment, so I did put a couple things from the eco lifestyle pack in his room. And I think it looks so cozy and cute in here. And on the side of his room, he just has a wardrobe, a mirror, and a little exercise bike as well. Not to mention this cozy little view out of his frosty window. <laughs> there is one other door on this short hallway, and this is his bathroom. Also, Daisy's mom, Faye, is really into needlepoint. So we do have a few little needlepoints hanging up on the wall that Faye made for them to decorate their apartment. And I think it's so cute. It's like a little touch of home for Daisy and Asher. So there are two bathrooms in this apartment, and they do look relatively the same. So there's just a toilet, sink, and then a walk-in shower. All right, coming out of the bathroom and going into the main living space, here is their kitchen. So when you first walk into the kitchen on the right, there is a wall with some antique paintings, some plants, a little trash can, and a table with some vases and a phone, some car keys, things like that. And then their dining room table is right in the middle of the kitchen, and I think it's so cute. I kind of tried to give some modern friends apartment vibes, and I liked the idea of there being mismatched chairs. Even though the chairs do match, I like that the colors are just off by one, and I don't know, I thought it gave it a little bit of more of a antique, kind of like thrown together first apartment type of vibe. And here is an overview of their entire kitchen. I feel like this is such a good starting kitchen for their first apartment. And of course, we had to bring Daisy's coffee maker because what would she do without it? <laughs> All right, and on the other side of the kitchen is their living room. So we just have this cute couch with a little throw blanket over the back, this beautiful antique mirror. I am so obsessed with it. And then they have this little faux fireplace that doesn't actually light up, but instead they place some books inside as some decoration. And I love how this looks so much. And of course, Daisy being the gamer that she is, we have all of the gaming accessories laid around. So we have one console over here. We have some extra remotes, of course, a speaker. We have another gaming console, a little switch that actually is functional, so she could play video games on that if she wants to, as well as an old VCR player down here. And I just think this living room is so cozy. Honestly, I would hang out in here all the time if I lived here. We also have some more needlepoint over here on this wall, and this is actually a Zodiac themed needlepoint. So we have a Virgo needlepoint down here for Asher, and then a Cancer needlepoint up here for Daisy. I wasn't exactly sure at first what their zodiac signs would be, but after putting a lot of thought into it, I did decide that it made the most sense for Asher to be a Virgo and Daisy to be a Cancer because they just give me those vibes. All right, and this room off the living room is actually Daisy's bedroom. So when you first walk in, there is her desk space where she records, plays video games, she streams, she films all her content over here, and she even got a PC as
as well. And I love this setup so, so much. I put so much thought into it, even if it is a little bit plain. I feel like Daisy is just such a cozy gamer, and I also want her to be able to expand her setup and get multiple screens and more decorations, change her aesthetic if she wants to, so I figured that this was just a perfect starter setup for her. Also, like I said, I will be eventually linking this in the apartment CC, but how cute is this little wrist rest? It looks like a cloud. I am so obsessed with it. I kind of want this in real life. Of course, she has her stream deck because she do be a streamer. Over here is her dresser with all of her clothes and stuff, and I did end up decorating this dresser to almost look like a little window bench, which I thought was so cute and I've never actually done before. So I just put this big blanket over the dresser with a bunch of pillows, kind of leaned up against the window. And of course, this isn't functional, so Daisy can't actually sit here. But in my head, I do kind of picture Daisy sitting here and looking out the window and just thinking of how far she's come in her life, maybe writing in her journal or something. I don't know. I just think it's so cute. Next to the window, I put this little vanity corner. So there's just this little mirror. We have some perfume and jewelry, some hair and skincare products, as well as a little diffuser. And on the opposite side of that, we have Daisy's bed. And I'm really excited to hang up a bunch of Polaroids above her bed and just different pictures that she takes with her friends that she meets. Also, I love that the comforter on this bed definitely looks like something that her mom gave her. And I just think that it looks really, really sweet. And then this door over here leads to Daisy's bathroom. So like I said before, the bathrooms are basically the same, but the setup is a little bit different. So we just have the toilet on the left when you walk in, the sink over here on the back wall, and then the shower is over to the right. All right, and last but not least, we have the balcony. So of course, this door right here off the living room leads to the balcony. And it is winter right now, so it's a little snowy out here, but I still think that it is super, super cute. So we have a yoga mat out here if Daisy or Asher want to do some yoga. I put out this cute little birdhouse in the corner, as well as some vertical planters along the wall of the apartment. Like I said before, Asher is very much into the environment, so I figured that he would love having some fresh plants in the apartment and having birds come to visit their balcony. And I just think that this is definitely a lot of Asher's space out here. And then we also have this little table with a couple chairs out here for Daisy and Asher if they want to eat out here or whatever it is. I do love the idea of them having coffee out here in the morning and just kind of chatting to start their day. And if you remember from the montage at the beginning of the video, that is exactly what they did. And I thought it was so cozy. I loved it so much. Oh yeah. And also we of course had to put some string lights along the balcony as well because the vibes are just so cute. How could I not? <laughs> All right. And I think that that is the whole apartment. I really hope you guys like it. And like I said, there will be a CC haul coming soon for the apartment as well as Daisy and Asher, which soon will be linked down below. For Asher, I'm not too sure yet if I want to do civil designer or conservationist, but I do think that civil designer makes more sense for living in San Myshuno. As a civil designer, get involved in planning and designing solutions to all kinds of environmental problems and chat to your fellow Sims about how to make the world a better place to live. And then once he gets promoted enough, I can see Asher becoming a green technician. So I think we're going to do this one. All right. Asher is now a junior drafts person. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of him. As for Daisy, she's still in the streaming career and then she's also technically still in the barista career, but I'm going to go ahead and quit this job. All right, let's go ahead and quit being a barista. Probably should have done that before we left Henford on Bagley, but it's fine. All right, for Daisy, I'm actually going to keep her streamer career and we're also going to make videos and we'll end up making a video game and all of that sort of stuff. So we're going to have a lot of different ways to make money with Daisy. But as far as her official career, it is just going to be her streaming career. All right, it is Saturday right now and actually the last day of winter. I am so excited for spring in the city. Daisy and Asher's first day of work is on Monday and their schedules could not be more opposite because Asher goes into work from nine to six and then they'll probably have a few hours to go out or grab dinner or whatever. And then Daisy starts work at 9 p.m. So we're definitely gonna have to try and find a good balance 
plans for them with their schedules. But tomorrow on Sunday, they actually don't have anything planned, but it is Flower Festival. I don't always celebrate Flower Festival with my Sims, but I do think since it's their first holiday together at the new place in the new city, I think that they would definitely be excited to celebrate and maybe even invite over their neighbors because I really, really want them to meet their neighbors. Daisy and Asher also, of course, come from Henford on Bagley where they knew literally everyone in the town. And so I think coming to the city with that mentality, I don't think they realize that not everyone in the city knows or is friends with their neighbors. But I do think that that's something that they still need to learn. So I think I'm actually going to have Daisy and Asher invite over all of their neighbors to a little flower festival party tomorrow. But I can definitely see Daisy being so ignorant to the fact that like it's kind of weird to invite your neighbor to a party when you've never met. I feel like she would just draw some like cute little invitations and like slip them under their doors. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set up a party for tomorrow. And we're going to go ahead and have it be a house party. All right, I'm not going to show you the neighbors quite yet because I do want you guys to be surprised, but we're going to have this house party at 2 p.m. tomorrow. All right, the house party is all set up. I am so excited for that. All right, and you know what? Since we have a party tomorrow, I'm actually going to have Daisy go to the nail salon to get her nails done. This is not something that she's used to. Definitely not something she did back home in Henford on Bagley, but I did place a nail salon near her apartment. And so I think it would be fun for her to go over there, check it out and kind of just pamper herself a little bit. All right, here we are at the blush beauty salon. I would show you guys the outside, but honestly it's covered in snow. So you can't really tell what it looks like. I did edit this lot a bit, but it is not by me. So I will put the information for this lot on the screen if you would like to check it out. And let's go ahead and get a manicure. This lot is so peaceful, especially going in from the snowy outdoors. It just feels so cozy and nice in here. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to do short nails for Daisy. I'm going to do the round shaped nails. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to do white. Maybe she was inspired by the snow outside. I can only imagine what Daisy must be thinking right now. Like I said, she is not used to this kind of treatment. She came from Henford on Bagley. She grew up on a farm. I don't think that her or anyone in her family has gotten their nails done professionally a day in their life. And I don't know that this is going to be a regular thing for Daisy, but I do think she deserves to feel pampered. She's like, how often do people come here to get their nails done? And the nail tech is like, oh, maybe like a couple weeks or so in between appointments. And I feel like that would absolutely blow Daisy's mind. <laughs> She's like, there is absolutely absolutely no way that people regularly come here to do this every couple weeks. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. And you know what? I'm going to get a pedicure too because I'm not sure if her party outfit has open-toed shoes or not. So we're just going to do it in case. And I'm going to do white just to match. <laughs> Hell yeah, girl. Every time I watch my Sims get their nails done, it makes me so jealous. Like, I want to get my nails done so bad now. I love that everyone is wearing robes too. Like, it's so bougie here. I did mention that Daisy was going to have a bit of a culture shock this season, and I think that it's safe to say that that is happening now, but not in a negative way. I feel like this is the exact thing that Daisy wanted when she moved to the city, and now she's finally experiencing it. I'm so happy for her. Oh my god, not Nina Caliente being pregnant girl who's the baby daddy all right we are all finished all right let's head back home have some dinner and i think i might try and get a stream in tonight if she's not too tired all right we're back home and i think i'm actually gonna have asher make dinner i don't know why but he just seems like the one that would cook out of the two of them all right first meal in the new apartment and i think i'm actually gonna have them have some grilled cheese and tomato soup something about this just feels like that meal you make for yourself when you're first starting to get settled in your adult life maybe you just moved into a new apartment like them they probably don't have a lot of like pots and pans and ingredients in the fridge and I think that this is just something easy for them to kind of throw together for dinner so I'm gonna have Asher go ahead and cook that for them first meal of the season you guys know how I love to watch my sims cook he even plated it on a little board how cute is that let's go ahead and have Daisy compliment Asher on his new job I am so freaking proud of of him. Obviously, I'm proud of Daisy too, but Asher's job just feels like such a legit adult job. And especially being his first job out of high school, I'm just really proud of him. Why are Sims always getting up to talk to each other? I don't understand. 
<laughs> I love how at first he was like, yeah, no big deal. And then he got really excited. Why does this feel so grown up right now? I feel like they were babies like yesterday. All right, amazing dinner, Asher. Thank you so much, bestie. Let's actually have Daisy clean up since she didn't cook. And then, you know what? I think instead of streaming, we're actually going to record our first ever YouTube video. I really want to waste no time getting into the YouTube space. And I think we should start off with a confident vlog. I feel like it's going to be Daisy talking about her big move and her new channel and kind of her life leading up to now and the fact that she is new to the city and basically just like a general like intro video for her YouTube. I am so excited. And in the meantime, I know it's late, but let's have Asher go ahead and start planting some stuff on their balcony. I think I'm just going to get some fruit and herbs because I also want stuff that he can cook with as well. All right, I didn't fill up the planters, but I think these will be good for now. So we have some blackberry, some grapes, some parsley, and some basil. You guys, Daisy is such an influencer. I can't. Oh my god. I can just feel how happy she is. All right, we are done with that vlog. And I'm going to go ahead and call this our moving vlog. Goodbye, Henford on Bagley. Hello, San My Shuno. Hell yeah, Daisy. All right, and now I'm just going to have Daisy go to sleep so we can get ready for the party tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, not her ring light being on while she's sleeping. But look at how pretty her computer is. Ugh, the vibes over here are immaculate. Oh my gosh, stop. I totally forgot to change her alarm. She is up at 6 a.m. Honestly, I'm surprised she's so energized because Daisy has never been a morning person. All right, it looks like it's going to be pretty cold and cloudy today, but that's okay because we're going to be staying in for the party anyways. And you know what? Since I totally set that alarm by accident, I'm actually going to have Daisy go back to sleep because I need Daisy in a good mood for the party and to meet all her new neighbors. All right, Asher, however, is a lot more of a morning person. Oh my gosh, you guys. I totally forgot that Asher grows facial hair now. Oh my god, he looks so old. I actually don't hate it, but I don't like change. And I think I'm going to have Asher shave for the party. Asher was a kid like yesterday, so I'm not ready for this stage of his life. Doing his adult makeover was change enough. We cannot move this fast. Let's go ahead and have him make breakfast as well. I think we're just going to do some toast, but we'll make some for Daisy since she's still sleeping. All right, and now Daisy is up. And of course, the first thing that Daisy is going to do is make some coffee. Who's surprised? Let's have an Americano this morning. Wow, who else would kill to have Asher as a roommate? Oh my gosh, not Daisy being addicted to caffeine. Honestly, though, that tracks. All right, I think I'm going to have Asher make some appetizers for the party. I don't know that we're going to do like full meals, but I think we're going to do a couple snack trays. All right, so we have a little cheese board which looks so cute and then since Asher is doing food let's just have Daisy do the drinks I honestly can't remember if the green fairy is a cocktail or a martini but we're gonna do that because it sounds so cute and then Asher is just finishing up our second appetizer which is a little veggie tray right here's everything for the party and I think it looks really really good so we still have a little over an hour until everyone gets here but let's go ahead and put on our outfits and put on some music okay tell me they don't look amazing. Daisy's in this little green dress and then Asher is in these beige pants with a little brown button up. Oh my god, they look amazing. I am so excited. And I think we're just gonna play some pop music. I don't really know what Daisy and Asher's music taste is quite yet, but I feel like we can figure that out as they get older. Wow, the vibes. <gasps> Oh my gosh, stop. Here is one of our neighbors now who was actually invited to the party, but he smelled the food from the hallway and actually came over a little early, which is interesting. This is Mateo and I did give him a makeover, but the base of the sim was created from a sim dump from another simmer. So I'll put that info on the screen now if you'd like to check out the sim, but I think he's such a cutie. And yeah, he is one of our neighbors in the apartment complex. We have five neighbors in total. 
we have two roommates, another set of roommates, and then Mateo here is actually the only one who lives on his own in the apartment. So let's invite him in to eat. I feel like if it was for a different sim, they would think it's weird that someone came that early for a party. But I think Asher and Daisy would think that that's so sweet. <gasps> and the house party is about to begin. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous to have them meet everybody. Mateo is in his party wear. Very chill, very casual. He looks so cute. Oh, and that did not take me long to figure out. It looks like Daisy is into pop music. Good to know. All right. It looks like our guests are starting to arrive. So here is one of our neighbors. His name is Nathan Lee. I will say I do think this is one of my hottest sims of all time and I am kind of obsessed with him. And then we also have his roommate whose name is James. So this is James. By the way, Mateo, James, and Nathan all came from the same sim dump. So if you'd like to check out any of these base sims, it's the same info that was linked for Mateo. And here we have Liliana who looks very angry for some reason, which I'm not liking. And then we have Liliana's roommate, Cleo. And both of these sims were made 100% by me and they're not currently on the gallery, but if you guys would like me to upload these sims to the gallery, definitely let me know. All right, let's go around and meet everyone. I love that the girls immediately go to the living room and the boys all stay in the kitchen, literally around the table. I'm so weak. All right, let's meet everyone. We're gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves. I also have the first impressions mod by Lupino, so I'm really interested to see if anyone gets the crush sentiment. I will say these sims are meant to be Daisy and Asher's friends for the season, but they're also potential love interests as well. Oh my gosh, stop. They were just dancing together. Oh my God, Liliana is still looking upset. Girl, what is going on with you? You're at a party. All right, let's grab some drinks. Maybe that will get everyone a little more chatty. <gasps> oh my gosh. Liliana just came in here and fanned herself like she was feeling flirty. Oh my god, I really hope that that's either with Asher or Daisy. Oh, interesting. So far, it looks like Daisy perceives Mateo and James as basic looking, but perceives Nathan as very attractive. She also perceives Liliana as very attractive, but they have awful compatibility, which is really, really interesting. Oh my gosh, look at everyone chatting. This is so nice. Nice. All right, I kind of want to chat with Nathan more. Let's actually dance with Nathan. I think that would be fun. Oh my God, not Liliana playing on our Switch. Awful compatibility, yet you're into video games? Seems suspicious. Oh my God, James, please. <gasps> oh my God, stop it right now. Liliana is feeling so flirty. Okay, I have to control her. I need to find out what's going on. Okay, interesting. So Liliana perceives Daisy as very attractive as well and perceives Asher as being attractive. But what was actually making her flirty was the cocktail. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. Kind of disappointing. I really, really thought that she was gonna think one of our Sims were attractive, but it's fine. At least she's not in a bad mood anymore. Asher also has good compatibility with Mateo and Nathan, but he doesn't have any attractiveness for Nathan and for Mateo. He does think that Mateo is attractive, so that's definitely a potential. I'm just so interested by Daisy and Liliana both perceiving each other as very attractive but having awful compatibility. I feel like that could get messy so fast and I'm kind of here for it. Daisy, please come dance already. Oh my god, Daisy is such a slow sipper. She literally still hasn't finished her drink, but she's already tipsy, so it's fine. Let's invite Nathan to dance. He did just get a drink, but I really want to dance with him and see if we start building a relationship with him. Also, Daisy's feeling very confident right now, so I want to capitalize on that for sure. Let's have Asher talk about city planning. I feel like he's so excited about his job that he would definitely tell everybody that he sees. Oh, and it looks like Cleo is active. Stop. Why does James look like such a third wheel right now. <laughs> standing in between them, not even dancing or anything. Technically, Daisy and Nathan are dancing together, but like, are they? They're so far apart. Like, you guys, you can get closer. The party's technically over, but they're all been drinking. I feel like they would want to keep the party going. I might actually have them go out and go dancing or something. All right, I thought it would be fun if we went out to do some karaoke. So we are at the Blue Room karaoke bar. Let's order drinks for the group 
and I think we're just gonna do some vodka sodas. Oh my god, not James already drunk, please. <gasps> Oh my god. Wait, actually, this might be from the drinks too, but now James is feeling flirty. Oh no, this is gonna get messy. Oh my god. Honestly, horse ranch who? The spin. I'm absolutely deceased. Oh my god, we have to go up next with Asher. Oh, Nathan came over to sit with us. Hey, boo. All right, let's get some liquid courage and then go up for some karaoke. Can I just say that this is an amazing group of Sims? Like, how are they all this hot? Are are you kidding? All right, everyone's got their drinks and we are getting ready to go up for some karaoke. Oh my God. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. Literally crushing it. <laughs> Honestly, at least they look like they're having fun. Nathan's like, if I don't turn around, I won't have to comment on it. <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, proud of them. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that there's a dance floor upstairs. All right, let's go ahead and dance together. Oh, wait, no, everyone's leaving. Oh my gosh. Asher, you scared them away with your dancing. Please stop not everyone leaving the second we start dancing. Oh my God, and we literally have work in six hours. Okay, you know what? It's probably for the best. We need to get home. I already know that they're gonna have the scaries tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we forgot to put the food away. Oh my god. Okay, put the veggies away. This we definitely need to scrap and I guess we'll save the drinks too, except I might end up regretting that. All right, Asher, you go straight to sleep because you have work and actually we might as well set up a alarm clock for him based on his career. That way I don't have to worry about him getting up for work or not. All right, and Daisy, how about you come in here and clean up from the party? Oh my gosh, the drinks everywhere, random food left out, half of a drink drink on the floor. Oh my gosh. I feel like they had a successful night. I know it ended very abruptly, but I think meeting everyone went really well and I think everyone had a lot of fun. All right, time to turn off the music and get some sleep. Oh my gosh, it is 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, I really, really, really hope that Asher has a good day at work tomorrow. All right, good morning, Asher. Oh my God. He actually did get a good amount of sleep, which is good. All right, go to the bathroom, take a shower, get ready for work. Your first day. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh no, and Daisy's up too because she's hung over. But you know what? Since she's up, let's go ahead and make Asher a coffee. I think that would be really sweet to kind of like help him get ready for his day. Let's make him a cappuccino. All right, Asher has work in one hour. Oh my gosh. They really are all grown up. It's crazy. All right, and then of course we need to make Daisy a coffee as well. And we're gonna have a cappuccino too. All right, Asher, come drink your coffee. Let's get you out some breakfast. Oh my gosh, stop. Yo, anyone up for getting their exercise on? Because I'm here to pump you up. Stop. Does James want to go to the gym with us? Let's have Daisy go work out with him. I think that she definitely wouldn't want to, but I feel like she also wouldn't want to say no at the same time because she really does want to make new friends in the city. Let's give it a second though. We're going to wake up a little bit. We're going to get ready and then we'll go to the gym with James. All right. And Asher is about to head off for for his first day. He didn't have time to drink his coffee, but that's okay. Honestly, it kind of works out because I feel like Daisy's gonna need two coffees today anyways. Oh my gosh, stop. Look at Asher in his work outfit. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with him. Bye, sweetie. Have the best day. <gasps> Oh no. All right. Our first round of bills were delivered. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, it's only $632. That is not bad at all. All right, go pay your bills. I don't know why I really thought it was going to be more expensive than that. All right, now that our bills are all paid, let's go ahead and meet up with the guys at the gym. Hi loves, editing Lucid here. So it turns out that I wasn't actually recording when we were at the gym, but we did end up going to the gym with James and Nathan. I figured since they were remaining they would both want to go. Basically, all that happened was James was lifting weights the whole time. He gave me very much gym bro energy. <laughs> and then we actually ended up doing a yoga class with Nathan, which was really, really fun. And then after the yoga class, both Nathan and James ended up leaving the gym. So it was pretty uneventful. You didn't miss too much, just to let you know. <laughs> all right, back to the video. All right, we are back from the gym and it looks like we're really hungry. So let's get some food and then, oh, I think we we actually have to 
upload that video that we recorded yesterday. So we're gonna do that. That is going to be the first video on our channel. And then we have a stream starting at 9 p.m. Oh no, and we have really bad cramps. That sucks. All right, have some grilled cheese and tomato soup to make you feel better. I feel like that's a really good meal to have when you don't feel good. Oh my gosh, Asher's home. Asher brought home $279 today and he did some great work. Oh my gosh. And he's feeling confident. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, look at our little working boy. <laughs> All right, come take a shower after work. And I might have Asher just kind of chill in the couch and play some video games or something. Kind of a reward after a long first day of work. All right, let's go ahead and record another video. I think I'm gonna do a gadget product review for this one. Maybe she's reviewing some of the new tech that she got, like her new PC or her microphone or her stream deck or something like that. Honestly, maybe she's doing a whole video on her streaming setup and kind of like going through all of the tech she has. Honestly, I would definitely watch Daisy's content. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. Nathan was just at our door, but he didn't knock. He was just kind of standing there and then he walked away. I feel like he was gonna knock on the door and then changed his mind. I wonder if he wanted to talk to Daisy or Asher. <gasps> Wait, is he gonna knock now? Oh my gosh, yes. Hey neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit? We can socialize or do whatever your heart desires. Well, Daisy's off to work, so let's have Asher invite him in and maybe they can play some video games or something. Oh my God, wait. Nathan literally left when Daisy left. I feel like he came to the door wanting to hang out with Daisy and then he saw that she was leaving for work and was like, never mind. <laughs> Oh my god, poor Asher, but honestly, I kind of feel like that's a sign. I don't know. Oh my god, noisy neighbors. Oh, this is the first of many. I already know this is gonna happen so much this season. Noisy neighbors from neighbor situation on apartment floor. Oh my gosh, it's coming from Mateo's apartment. Let's knock politely because I feel like, I don't know, Mateo doesn't seem like the type to me to play this type of music. Maybe he has someone over. Hi, Mateo. <gasps> Wait, okay, let's complain about the loud noises. I just realized I'm pretty sure this is Mateo's party outfit because he wore this to our house party? Is he having a party at his apartment and didn't invite us? Oh no. Oh my God, that actually makes me kind of sad. Oh my gosh, so much is happening. <laughs> Daisy, um, assign coffee duty to the intern because it's Daisy, she's obsessed with coffee. Um, and she brought home $94 today. Oh my gosh. Why did Asher just yell at Mateo? That was so unnecessary. Mateo said, I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. <gasps> Oh my God, he's actually having a party. I'm so upset we were invited. I mean, I know we just met, but like they literally came to a party at our apartment yesterday. Oh my God, maybe it's like friends we don't know or like family or something. I don't know. All right, I guess let's get back inside. That actually made me kind of sad. You know what? I'm gonna have Asher call his dad, Miles. We're gonna have a chatty family call because I just feel like he needs this right now. <gasps> oh no. I didn't realize how late it was. He said, what? I'm sleeping, call later. <gasps> oh my God, Asher, wait, why am I so sad for him right now? <laughs> I honestly thought in my head that Asher was gonna have a harder time kind of adapting to city life and the big change in lifestyle. I don't think he's doing a bad job, but I definitely think he's a little more sensitive to certain things than Daisy is. I think that Daisy is a little bit more optimistic and I think that Asher is a little bit more of a realistic approach when it comes to having this big life change. Oh, he has the socially awkward moodlet from socialization. Sims who are loners have a tough time being social. Any awkward situation is enough to embarrass them. Oh my gosh, the poor thing. He's not even that socially awkward. I think it's just gonna take him a little bit to get used to this new dynamic in the city. The social scene here is definitely a lot different than Henford on Bagley, to say the least. But you know what? Tomorrow's a new day, Asher. Why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? 
sleep. Ah, my poor baby. All right, and Daisy, you need to upload that video before you go to sleep. And we're also going to reply to some comments as well. This is only episode one, but we definitely need to start getting Daisy's fame up. And we now have a total of 1,250 followers. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, time to go to sleep. I know that this episode was definitely a lot more of an introduction episode, meaning everybody seeing their new apartment and their new life in the city and everything. But I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and there will be many more to come. I'm so excited for this season and the change of pace. It is very, very different from last season. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am and that you're ready for all the chaos to ensue. Definitely let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as letting me know what you think about our potential romantic interests. Who do you see Asher with? Who do you see Daisy with? I'm definitely leaving it more up in the air as of right now because I just kind of want to see what happens naturally with all of their relationships. But if you guys have preferences, definitely let me know because I'm very, very curious. And with all that being said, I am going to leave this episode right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video or live over on Twitch. All right, bye my loves.